Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 2007 and opening up a hobby box of 2007 Bowman. We're going to give all of these cards away to one of you guys watching right now. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like this video, and comment. We'll check if you're subscribed in our next live stream on Sunday and give this entire box to possibly you. So let's get right to it. There is one autograph card in here, hopefully. I'm really hoping that it is not a redemption. Otherwise, we're not going to get the autograph, obviously. There's also two Bowman Chrome cards in every pack. There's 24 packs in here with 10 cards per pack. You can see Luke Kochevar is on the front of the box. And there are some good rookie cards in here, uh, especially on the autograph checklist. Looking for Andrew Miller, rookie card auto. Troy Tulowitzki, Ryan Braun would be a nice one. And Josh Hamilton as well. And there's some nice prospect autos as well, including Evan Longoria and Matt Antonelli. So let's see if we can find any of those as our autograph. We'll go through and check out... The design, check out the cards, and I actually have a whole case of these. We could probably do um, a case break of 2007 Bowman at some point over the next couple months. So let's get right to it. 2007 Bowman. I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. Inside, we have our 24 packs, and here is the scouting report poster of all of the uh, Bowman Prospects. You can see like there's a Brandon Bosch, from, formerly of the Tigers, but there he's on the Padres right there. I remember Bosch. You can see Michael Brantley, uh, formerly of the Indians, and now of the Astros back when he was on the Brewers. So some cool cards in here for sure. There's Dylan Batonce, so we'll be looking for these. And um, I don't know, it's kind of kind of cool that they give you this scouting report. They don't do this anymore. You know, it goes the whole way over to the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I'll save that and put that aside. So whoever wins these cards can also have that scouting report and read it over. All right, so let's get these packs out of the box and let's start ripping these and see what we can find in 2007 Bowman Hobby. One autograph per box. So not much has changed in that department over the last 13 years. I can see Derek Rodriguez on the back. Uh, son of Yvonne Rodriguez. Very nice. There's Garrett Anderson. These do have those black borders, which are really tough. You can see there is a little bit of white on there. I was uh, afraid to sell this on uh, Patreon to a member because I was worried that it could possibly break up, but these are not bricked at all. These are actually in great shape. I picked up this case at Juniata Cards about a year ago. There's Alex Rodriguez, 145th career home run and we have a gold signature card that's not a real signature but it's a Carlos Beltran we have our chrome cards here Tony Abreu and there's a Brad Lee Davis and there is Derek Rodriguez no relation to Yvonne Rodriguez I don't think that's the same guy right there as he spells his name a little bit differently here we go next pack pack number two in 2007 Bowman, some guy named Myron Leslie's on the back. You'll see failed prospects here and there throughout these older Bowman releases. There's Pronk, Travis Hafner, Cranky One, Delman Young rookie card. Uh, pretty nice one right there. There's a first Bowman of Matt Palmer Gold, Doug Deeds. I have no idea who he is. There's Michael Brantley. That's a good one right there. Michael Brantley. First Bowman card, so he's gone on to be an all-star and a pretty darn good one right there. That is the best card of the day. We'll keep that on the screen for you. We got Jan Pino, and there's the Leslie card. So, very nice. Michael Brantley, I'm also hoping we can maybe find uh, his autograph in this set as well. It'd be nice to find Evan Longoria or even Matt Antonelli. We shall see. Here's our next pack. We got Todd Helton leading things off, getting some Hall of Fame consideration, but not nearly enough to get in there. Sean Riggins' rookie card. Scott Casimir was going to attempt a comeback before all this uh, pandemic stuff started happening. I don't know if he's still going to make a comeback or not. We'll see. Rooting for him to come back, though. Scott Casimir used to like to watch him. Had some nasty stuff, nasty breaking stuff. I think the last time I saw him pitch in person was uh, a bullpen session back when he was with the Cleveland Indians. There's Jose Contreras. Lance Berkman with the glove on the head. CeCe Sabathia will be a future Hall of Famer. Michael Kadire 
and we have an orange. So that's pretty cool. Reminds me of the big league parallels, that bright orange. It is numbered out of 250. Really nice. There's John Lieber, former 20-game winner. John Lieber, Gabriel Medina, first Bowman. Will Venable, first Bowman, had some nice years in the big leagues. And Rainer Bautista, I do not remember him at all. Next pack up, let's see who's going to join the Michael Brantley. Um, in terms of my favorite cards from this, there's a Marcus Giles, brother of Brian Giles. There's Jimmy Rollins, Brennan Bosch, first Bowman. I used to love this guy when he was with the Tigers because he would just put on a show in batting practice. I actually have his jersey, his jersey shirt, and um, sometimes I still wear it whenever I need uh, you know, a shirt for I don't know, going out and hitting baseballs or whatever. And Seth Fortenberry, first Bowman, is the last one. Next pack up for you, possibly. Again, all you have to do is leave a comment. I don't care what you say as long as it's appropriate. You can tell me your favorite card. You can tell me, um, I don't know, anything you, you want about this set or cards in general. There's Craig Monroe, Kenny Rogers. We've got a Justin Ruggiano card right there. And Cunningham, first Bowman Chrome. And the last one, it's our second, Tony Abreu, laying down a bunt right there. Next up, we are now a quarter of the way through the box. This is stack number two. There's Mark Loretta, Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer right there. J.D. Drew, Carlos Guillen, another A-Rod home run history card, road to 500. A-Rod would go on to hit well over 500. I believe the grand total is 697 or 698. Uh, just came up shy of 700 probably would have hit more than babe ruth had he not been banned for an entire season um for all his shenanigans that uh he went through but that's neither here nor there a rod again there's jim tomey a hall of famer 603 career home runs jim tomey he is a good one and it is it is his gold card and a first bowman of Brandon Morrow has had some injury concerns, but uh, a couple years ago, Brandon Morrow was one of the top relievers in the game. I got a Jeremy Papelbon, who I believe is the brother of Jonathan Papelbon. There's Frankie Liriano, future Hall of Famer, Adrian Beltre, Adam Lind rookie card. Got Randy Wolf. There's Freddie Sanchez. It was this year he won the batting title. Yeah, 344. Won the batting title in 2006. Everybody was all about Freddie Sanchez here in Pittsburgh back then. And there's Jeremy Papelbon. Looks like a lefty. All right, so still looking for our autograph. I hope they give it to us. Otherwise, that will be a big disappointment. And we got a Derek Jeter leading things off our next pack. And a Frank Thomas, back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. And then there's Dice K. Matsuzaka, who actually is still pitching, believe it or not, overseas. There's Mike Cameron. We have Adam Carr, first Bowman. That is a blue parallel out of 500. Tom Glavin, a really good pack right here. It's a gold, and he is a Hall of Famer. So I, I lost track. Four Hall of Famers in this pack. A pretty darn good pack right there. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find. It looks like we'll be live again, by the way, on Sunday with Panini Absolute. Uh, the brand new release, which is supposed to come out tomorrow on Friday, but... Typically, I save my live streams for Wednesdays and Sundays, so I think we'll do this live stream on Sunday. I only have one case of it, so hopefully it's pretty darn good. Next pack up. This is the official halfway point of the box, 2007. Bowman. I have to thank Heather for finding these as she unearthed these out in my garage. There's Maglio Ordonez, Brett Myers. We have Kevin Millwood, gold card, reliable pitcher there for the Braves for a good many years. Nothing really crazy in that pack. Still looking for our first autograph. I'd like to find a Matt Antonelli. Um, we'll see if we can find that one. There's Ricky Weeks. We got the X-Man, Xavier Nady, Mike Lowell. There's another A-Rod home run history card. So basically it just tells you the date of uh, that home run and um Thompson's has done this a couple different times with uh, Mickey Mantle. They did it and Barry Bonds. Um, I guess it's kind of cool if you're into A-Rod cards. Hey, we got our second Michael Brantley. So we have his base paper and also his chrome. So very nice. Two Michael Brantley rookie cards. 
probably the best one so far. There's some other nice ones in here, here and there, but I think that's uh, he's the biggest name so far that we've pulled that was that has been a rookie or a first bow. And there's Greg Maddox, not looking correct in a San Diego Padres uniform. Just doesn't really go for me. There's John Gragg. I don't think I've ever heard of him before. You got a Brad Knox and last two cards, Adam Carr, and there's a first Bowman of Trey Hearn. All right, still looking for our autograph. Hopefully they don't short us. I've never done a box of 2007 before. I did do a box of 2008 about a year ago, and I can't remember. Something happened with the autograph. I think it was an expired redemption. There's future Hall of Famer David Ortiz and Hall of Famer Mike Piazza. Doesn't look quite right in an A's uniform to me. There's Craig Biggio, another Hall of Famer. We're up to three Hall of Famers in this pack. Got Aaron Jensen, Matt Goodson, uh, first Bowman Chromes, and then Sean Thompson is the last one right there. All right, so we've got three packs left. Let's see what the heck we can find here. Three packs left in this stack. Then there are, uh, what is there, six more in that stack right there. Josh Barfield, fun, uh, not fun, son of Jesse Barfield. You may remember him. There's Alfonso Soriano about ready to blast a BP home run. And this pack has a Brennan Bosch first Bowman, and that's about it. So almost three quarters of the way done and still looking for our autograph. We'll see if it comes up in here. Let's flip these around for you folks at home so you can see these. A lot of you it might be your first time ever seeing 2007 Bowman. There's Derek Rodriguez, first Bowman Chrome. It is numbered out of 150. Nice low numbered blue out of 150. Now, I have seen 2007 Bowman here and there in the collections that I've picked up, but I don't think I've ever opened a, uh, a box of these, so this is pretty cool for me. On these Throwback Thursdays, we always try to do some old stuff, and this was the dark era for my collection, or collecting years. I was out of the game in... Uh, for pretty much all the 2000s. There's Del Batances. How about, look at the little guy right there. Del Batances, all skinny. Uh, first Bowman Chrome. He's uh, really bulked up, put on some weight and filled out. That's a nice one right there. I'm putting that on the screen. Of course, Batances now with the Mets. Um, kind of, it's going to be weird seeing him in a Mets uniform after getting so accustomed to him with the Yanks. Next pack up. This is our last stack, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. If you uh, wouldn't mind, there's Mike Mussina. He's a Hall of Famer. Gary Sheffield may be a Hall of Famer someday, gaining some traction in the voting. Manny Ramirez probably will never be a Hall of Famer, despite having the numbers to be. We also had a John Papelbon in there. And the last one is going to be a Greg Smith. One, two, three, four, five packs left to go. All right, so autographs should be coming up soon, I hope. It's AJ Burnett. We'll see Jim Tomey. And uh, dang it, where the heck is this autograph? Uh, these aren't all the autographs, by the way. There's a Dellen Batances. Again, our second Dellen Batances card. So we get his chrome and also his paper. That's pretty awesome. Those are my favorite four cards. You may have different cards you like. For example, some of you former White Sox fans might like that Josh Fields, and some of you may like the big donkey there, Adam Dunn, Gary Matthews Jr. There's Jared Weaver, Checklist Card, and Cody Strait, Myron Leslie, and Brian Henderson, along with Jared Burton. So we've only got three packs left and still waiting on an autograph. Get a little nervous here. Let's see if we can find it. We've got Roy Oswalt. Yvonne Rodriguez is a Hall of Famer. There's the autograph. It's Matt Lindstrom. I remember Lindstrom mostly from the Astros. Uh, can't miss that auto right there with that big shiny sticker on it. Matt Lindstrom, rookie card. Autograph is the auto in this box. There's the back of the card, and that's not Matt Lindstrom. It's sticking to a Jake Westbrook gold card. Let's see if we can separate those. Our first instance of any stickiness in the entire box. Matt Lindstrom, auto, very nice. Probably only worth a buck or two, but still a nice hit for whoever gets this. I would be most stoked about the uh, first four cards that I have on the screen. Those nice first Bowmans of Batances and Michael Brantley. 
We've got two packs left. I am pretty happy, pretty darn happy, in fact, that I uh, have some assurances now that my case that I bought is going to all be uh, in perfect condition in terms of not being stuck together whatsoever. So that is good. Some, Like I said, at some point over the next couple months, we will do a, a case break and finish off the last, I forget how many boxes are in there, either 10 or 12 boxes. All right, so there is Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, as we wind down this episode of Throwback Thursday. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you hit the subscribe button and maybe give yourself a shot at winning these cards. Don't forget to like the video and also leave a comment, and we'll pick somebody on Sunday in our live stream. Last card of the video is going to be a Marvin Lawrence, or Lawrence, uh, first Bowman from the Nats. And that will do it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a very good rest of your Thursday. Again, if you subscribe, like, and comment, it could be you that wins these cards. Uh, we'll try to do a giveaway or two every week. Uh, so have a great uh, rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a new release of Panini Absolute. Good night, everybody.